During the late 1940s, the Americans launched a program to create a new line of tanks. The light T-41 became the M-41 Walker Bulldog, the heavy T-43 became the M-103, but the medium T-42 tank never became mass-produced. The idea of turning a light tank into a medium one proved to be fruitless, and on top of it all, the Korean War began. The army needed a lot of armored vehicles, and immediately. In such circumstances, they could do nothing but make more of the aging patterns. The M46 was a temporary measure, of course. It had a nice gun and a good engine, but its armor, well, it was poor even by the end of World War II. The M47, with its turret taken from the T42, didn't look promising either. So the year of 1950 saw the development of a new tank with better defenses. This time, it was the heavy M103 that served as a basis for the new medium tank. The two even look similar, as if the engineers simply rescaled one of them. Much like the M103, the M48 received a cast homogeneous steel hull with a hemispherical shape. Cast steel armor can't match the durability of rolled steel armor, but that was the only way to achieve such a complex shape. It also allowed for a smoother transition in thickness. The new tank had a reduced crew of four, and the driver was relocated to the center. As for the turret, the engineers decided to keep the huge turret ring that was usually found on heavy tanks. Thanks to this, the combat compartment could be bigger and there were fewer vulnerabilities. So the M48 was even better protected than the M47 thanks to its geometry, and the mass turned out to be lower. Still, there was a rush to mass produce them before proper testing was done, as it often happens. Naturally, the first batches had numerous issues and required some polish. Thankfully, polish they received. The A2 modification got a reshaped rear, that's where the hump came from. It allowed the increase of the fuel tank capacity, finally solving the short driving range issue. Later models also received a diesel engine and a newer 105mm gun. Thankfully, the turret had enough space for that. Finally, 1959 saw the production of the M60 MBT, a further development of the M48 with improved frontal armor. It had the 105mm gun, the diesel engine, and the increased fuel capacity right from the start. When we speak of the M48 and the M60, we can't but compare them to the Soviet T-54 and T-55. They featured some great engineering and simplicity despite lacking the attention to detail some Western tanks had. The M48 and the M60 look huge and bulky compared to them. On the plus side, they provided more convenience for the crew, and their maintenance was way simpler. Most main units were easy to check, which reduced the time required to find an issue down to 30 minutes at worst. The engine and transmission block could be replaced in a mere four hours, even in the field. Not only that, it could be tested outside the machine, which was a dream of every Soviet mechanic. The M48 and the M60 became the workhorses of many nations, serving even today for some, despite the age.